have in the mix right now. What we really need are drugs that when given early can prevent a symptomatic person from requiring hospitalization or very dramatically diminish the time that they're symptomatic. And some of the promising ones are other direct antiviral drugs, which we're screening and targeting. Also, convalescent plasma, which we're doing a trial to see if it works, hyperimmune globulin, and importantly, monoclonal antibodies. Monoclonal antibodies are very precise bullets that you have by developing from a person who's been infected or vaccinated, making antibodies, clone their B cells, and give it to people early on. You can do it as an outpatient. You can do it as an inpatient. All of those things are being geared up now and are either in clinical trial or will soon be going into clinical trial. So when you talk about things like monoclonal antibodies, how, how would that be administered and who could get that? Who, 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 who is the audience that that might be helpful for? Yeah, well, the, the, first of all, it can be administered intravenously. Once you get the right titration, you can do that subcutaneously or intramuscularly. It's for, you can do it for two things, shot. Mark. Excuse me? Through a shot. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, through a shot. Yeah, e either right through the vein or just like you get a gamma globulin shot. You could do it that way. Now, that can be done either for prophylaxis or for treatment. So, for example, if you're in a situation where you have a nursing home situation where there's an outbreak and you want to prevent people from getting ill, you can just do it that way. Or after a person is infected, you can give it to them as a treatment. This was very successfully done in a randomized placebo-controlled trial. It wasn't a placebo. It, it was a drug that was serving as the control. You might remember, Mark, of Ebola in West Africa, mm -hmm. where we showed that two types of different monoclonal antibodies were very effective in Ebola. And we hope we're going to see the same thing now with COVID. And what do you think the time frame for something like that might be? Well, the trials have already started, Mark. I would hope that as we get to the late summer and early fall, we'd be able to have enough efficacy data. Because remember, whenever you do this, they may look promising in an animal model. You always got to be concerned about safety, and you got to be concerned about, are you really giving someone something that works? So the clinical trials are underway for some and will soon start in another. I hope by the end of the summer, we'll have enough information as we get into the fall that we might be able to utilize these. It'll be really good if we have bookends, drugs for advanced disease and drugs for early disease to prevent advanced disease. Yeah, got it. That makes sense. And, and if that's coming over the next few months, I mean, that, that, um, uh, that, that's a good cause for some optimism. Um, yeah, yeah. Longer term, of course, developing a, a vaccine is going to be uh, critical. So um, I'm hoping that you can talk a bit